Do the Imperial students uh, have time to manage their girlfriends as well or no? <laughs> Uh, what is the best thing that you like about this campus? It, it's a good college experience. One thing, especially for my course, I feel uh, the teaching is top quality. The teaching is excellent. I don't think that the teaching is, is unmatched any, anywhere else, pretty much. Imperial College has been great to me. It's been tough as hell. There's been days and nights I've spent in the library. So can you introduce yourself, please, uh, your name and which country you're from? Uh, I'm Hugo. Uh, I originated from Belgium. I do biomedical engineering. You look like an undergrad. I am an undergrad. Yeah, I'm in second year biomedical engineering. Yeah, you have that innocence of undergrad on your face <laughs> all over. Yeah, I can see that. Hi, I am Andre, and my major is in biomedical engineering. I am Romanian. Hi, my name is Saren and I'm from Ireland. What is your major? My undergrad is biochemistry with management. If you are the president of Imperial for a day, yeah. What will you do? What, any change you want to bring in? Well, I'd definitely lower tuition fees. We do actually have a second campus in White City. Some people go there. I think if I was president, I would invest more in that. By some, some chance, you become the president of Imperial College. Hey. Oh, what change you will bring in? I think I would like to space out the coursework deadlines. We are, we are a STEM-only university, so we don't have the bubbly humanities people to, to get the conversations going. I feel you, man. I, I, I know. Import some English, English literature students or something, some drama students, see what we can do. I chose biomedical engineering because I wanted a degree which was wide in the engineering subjects that uh, were taught and also which were um, applied to humans. Why you chose biomedical? Why not electrical, mechanical or anything else? Uh, because my, one of my main things I want to do in life is help people but I didn't feel like medicine was for me so that's why I chose biomedical. We get to specialize in three areas so mechanical, electrical, computational streams. I'm pretty sure I'll go for the electrical stream it's a family tradition. Biochemistry gave me kind of a wider scope of things to do at the end and yeah it's turned out pretty well. You could have chosen music and then, you know, you have six hours every day free, you can have fun. Why medicine? I think because with medicine, I can go anywhere in the world and I'll have a job secured. Imperial College of London, I have written a Nobel Prize holders in the physics department. I have written a book. I have written a book. I have Nobel Prize winner. Just make Dr. Do the Imperial students uh, have time to manage their girlfriends as well or no? <laughs> <coughs> uh, some people do, some people do. Uh, some people just <laughs> choose to focus on academics. But so you can? <laughs> you can, you can. Yeah. Turn your professor into your girlfriend, how's that? Uh, I think we have an abundance of male professors here, so... Okay. Un unless you swing that way, you're all good. <laughs> Can't even think of what was the admission criteria. So the admission criteria is an A star in mathematics, and then an A in physics, and an A in another subject, uh, usually chemistry. Well, first I had to submit a um, letter of intent. Then I was invited to an interview, and finally I was given the requirement to have over 950. 95% in my Romanian baccalaureate, which is basically like A levels for people in the UK. Don't you think 95 is too much? Yeah, it's basically no room for error, I guess that's imperial for you. In the UK, A star is 90%, I think. That's, that's, that's exceptional, you know that. <laughs> you have to have an A star, AA in A levels, and the A star has to be in biology or chemistry, and you also have to do an uh, admissions test called the BMAT. And then after that, you get called for an interview, and then you go through the interview process. And then if you're successful, then you'll get an offer. So there was kind of an assessment day where I had an interview uh, with two academics, and I also had a group task. So that was also part of the admissions process. 
लो जी अब आपको इलेक्ट्रिकल एंड इलेक्ट्रॉनिक इंजीनियरिंग बिल्डिंग का जो लाइक करवा देते हैं आ, सबसे पहले तो आपको क्लास दिखा देते हैं ताकि आपको अंदाज़ा हो जाए कि स्टूडेंट्स किस तरह से बैठते हैं क्लास के अंदर और प्रेजेंटेशन कैसी होती है क्लास के अंदर उसके बाद मैं चला गया था इंजीनियरिंग लैब्स की तरफ यहाँ के जो लैब इंजीनियर थे उन्होंने बहुत अच्छी तरह से मुझे बताया कि लैब के अंदर किस तरह से काम होता है एक चीज़ जो मैंने फ़ौर नोट की वो ये थी कि जगह काफ़ी ज़्यादा थी लेकिन सामान जो इस्तेमाल करें लैब के अंदर वो बिल्कुल भी महंगा होना ज़रूरी नहीं है उसके अलावा जो प्रोजेक्ट्स कर रहे हैं वो भी स्टूडेंट्स ऐसे प्रोजेक्ट्स करते हैं जिनका अमली ज़िंदगी में कोई फ़ायदा है फॉर एग्ज़ाम्पल एक शहद की मक्खी का जो छत्ता है उसको मॉनिटर करने का सिस्टम बनाया हुआ है इसी तरह रजिस्टर्स को अलहदा करने का जो मैकेनिज़म वो बनाया हुआ है कि आप कैमरे की मदद से कलर कोडिंग करते हुए रजिस्टर्स को अलहदा कर लेते हैं इसके अलावा अगर आप फर्नीचर भी देखें या बाकी इक्वमेंट भी देखें तो वो कोई इतना महंगा या इतना फैंसी नहीं था कुछ एक्सपेरिमेंट्स के लिए सामान खुद ही तैयार किया गया है लैब के अंदर ही और उसके अलावा थ्री प्रिंटिंग और पी फैब्रिकेशन की सहूलत भी थी अभी हम खड़े हैं जी एक पार्क के सामने बिल्कुल कॉलेज के पास है इसके दाएं तरफ मस्जिद है और बाएं तरफ हॉस्टल है आप अगर यहाँ से दाएं तरफ देखें तो पंद्रह नंबर बिल्डिंग है इसकी बेसमेंट में आपने चले जाना वहाँ पे मस्जिद है एंटर होने के लिए वैसे तो कॉलेज कार्ड चाहिए लेकिन अक्सर कोई ना कोई नमाजी होता है आप दरवाज़ा खड़काएँ वो दरवाज़ा खोल देंगे आपके लिए इसके अंदर अगर आप चले जाएं तो आप देखेंगे कि सिस्टम काफ़ी अच्छा है मैंने पूछा कि कौन इसके अखराज उठाता है तो मुझे बड़ी खुशगवार हैरत हुई कि इम्पीरियल कॉलेज ऑफ लंदन जो है वो ही इसके अखराज अदा करता है और बड़ा अच्छा सिस्टम है यहाँ पे आपको काफ़ी नए लोग भी मिलते हैं I think at Imperial because the workload is so high it's not very common for people to work even if they want to because of the workload they they will not be able to do the part time work yes did you talk about entertainment well there's a lot of different venue avenues for that uh so the main i would say is societies so we have a tennis society we have a basketball we have about 600 of them there's also you know union bars well you are in london so you have many options uh specifically related to imperial we have a lot of bars union bar is the most famous people always gather around there everything for everyone pretty much london is your oyster there's a little bit of everything here i went to a comedy club a couple of weeks ago get yourself a membership for 10 pounds go for 1 pound every whenever you want you do get a lot of free time at university and there's loads of different like societies and clubs you can join there's archery there's football uh, i play football how much you paid for the degree uh, because i was last generation of eu students i pay home fees which is uh, about 9000 pounds per year and i don't have to pay them now i have a loan from the government so i have to pay it back in 40 years for the 6 years how how what, what is the annual fee uh for home students is 9000 and for internationals i think it can go i'm not sure but i think it's around 40000 pounds you have to pay for the application uh procedure i don't think that's too much from memory it was 100 pounds then when you arrive you have to pay tuition fees so for me it's 9000 pounds um and then living costs i would say i spend about 1500 pounds a month on living costs so it costs me you know about 30000 pounds a year all the rooms are have a lock and use our college id to access your room and also to access the kitchen so only people only people on this floor can access this kitchen oh, okay. so the kitchen is shared but if you come around the corner uh, you can see that you have your own uh, oh, storage nice. and this is and you have a uh, fridge so everything is shared mm -hmm. so fridges are shared then you have the hobs okay. and the sink okay. so you have freezers here as well oh, so that's a fridge and this is a freezer yeah For this university it's not very common for people to take food. So it's quite good. But other universities in the UK that's quite common. <laughs> okay. So these people that the hall seniors. Okay. So if you need any help you contact them. To dry and wash is about uh, £3.50. Oh, one load. So one load yeah so it's like £2.30 for washing machine and then it's One pound thirty for dryer, so altogether three pound sixty. 
ये आपने मेरे पीछे एक साहब को देखा होगा ये उस वक्त से रिबन पकड़ के डांस करते जा रहे हैं इन्होंने मुझे बताया कि जी मेरा नाम चैनली है और मलेशिया से मेरा ताल्लुक है पी कर रहे हैं मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग में थर्ड ईयर स्टूडेंट हैं पी के